Yeah, I think we're good to go. Hey guys, and welcome back to I Like Old Watches. I love the AliExpress sales, not just because you can pick up some incredible bargains, and it really does help to support me and this channel. Honestly, you guys using my affiliate links is incredible. I love it. Thank you so, so much. You really are helping to keep this channel going. So thank you so, so much. But also because it gives me an incredible opportunity to have a little rummage around and see what you guys are buying. Because honestly, it's all well and good me producing top 10 videos and saying this is my top 10 watches from AliExpress. But it's actually quite nice to see what you guys are responding to, what you guys are buying. Now, don't worry, I don't get to see any personal information. AliExpress doesn't provide any of that. So I have no idea who's buying what. So your code 66 stuff will remain a secret. I do share the occasional picture on Patreon after the sales, just, you know, letting them know what some of you guys are buying. But anyway, in this video, there's going to be none of that. It's going to be mostly watch-related stuff. The top 15 watch-related selling items through uh, my affiliate links in the sale so far. I think I said that right. And then I'm going to show you 10 watches at the end that have basically sold, you know, once. Um, but they're interesting watches, so I thought I'd show them to you. Enjoy the video. Right, I'm going to start with the top 15 selling items, and more specifically, the 15th most popular um, item during this year's March AliExpress anniversary sale. And it is this Boltony Rolex bubble back homage, which is interesting because I posted a video on my second channel, I Like Watches 2, where I said I didn't think this was being discounted anywhere in the sale, but it looks like someone has found it discounted, which is great news because the Kioiris, which I'm actually wearing, um, doesn't appear anywhere um, in this video, so I don't think anyone is buying that watch, sadly. It might be a branding thing. Um, the Boltony was always going to be more popular with that branding. So yeah, fantastic news. That one is being discounted in the sale. Watch number 14 is the Guan Chin Diver. Um, I think this is one of the best value for money divers currently available on AliExpress, especially if your budget is under $100. Um, this one is pretty impressive. I've already reviewed it. So check out that video if you want to learn more. Then we've got a steel dive. Now, interestingly, I recommended this one as an alternative to the Rudney R2X because I didn't think that was being uh, discounted anywhere in the sale. And again, um, a viewer has actually emailed me a link to a store where the R2X by Rudney and Captain Willard Homage is being discounted in the sale. So I will put a link to that store and that watch Again, in my video description for anybody that's interested in that watch. But this is roughly half the price. So I'm not at all surprised. Um, yeah, this one is selling um, particularly well. Then we've got uh, a silicon strap. Nice. It's the one with the curved ends. Excellent. Then we've got the Proxima MM300 Homage. Um, oh, God, I bleat on about this watch all the time. It's amazing. Love the case construction. The dial that I've got is stunning. Um, everything is yeah beautiful on the dial and the bezel insert. It's amazing. Next up, we've got a Kronos GMT. Um, yeah, I've reviewed this watch quite a while ago, and I've also done a comparison video with the San Martin GMT because a lot of people, when these two watches were released, um, were wanting to know which one was best. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check out those videos, guys, if these watches interest you. But the Kronos one seeing a little bit of a resurgence. Then we've got oh, the Heimdaller Monster. I'm not at all surprised that's in there. It's an incredible watch that's always in my top 10 videos. The Siegel 1963 is another really popular watch um, from AliExpress. And again, I'm not at all su surprised to see that in there. Here's another one, the San Martin um, Small Vintage Inspired Diver. Um, I think this is one of their most popular best-selling watches ever. I think it's only their Subby Homage SN017 variations that have sold in bigger numbers than this. Um, a very, very popular watch by San Martin. Then we've got a ah, leather strap, beautiful leather strap, this one. I'm not overly keen on the design of the buckle, actually. Um, I've shown this strap in videos before, um, but the actual leather quality is excellent. Then we've got uh, a new watch by San Martin. Um, yeah, the last video, actually, I posted on I Like Watches was about this particular variation, or was that was actually about the SN021 range um, and the differences and why this particular watch is my favorite in that range. So again, not at all surprised to see that in there. Right, we've got four left. Um, this silicon strap is hugely popular. I've got a couple of these. They're just very simple, basic, non-tapering silicon straps. You can't go wrong with these. Then we've got, oh, this uh, Milanese bracelet is really good quality, actually. Um, it's not the cheapest, it's almost $20. Um, you know, you should be able to pick this one up for maybe $15 or so um, in the sale. Uh, but yeah, the quality is excellent. 
And then we're gonna finish up on a couple of leather straps, I think. Um, my two favorite leather straps, actually, from AliExpress. Both really good quality, nice, thick, substantial, but still soft and malleable. Quick release spring bars. Um, yeah, these are two um, very popular straps. So again, not at all surprised to see those filling the top two spaces. Right, let me now show you 10 watches that have sold once through my affiliate links um, during this sale. Uh, first up, we've got, ah, oh, there's Kronos, 2,000 meter diver. Um, Matt, who is a patron, designed the case back for this watch actually because I sent my watch over to the Hydraulic Press channel and it pretty much survived um, a plunge in their um, pressure chamber down to the equivalent of 3,000 meters, which is incredible. But Maxi's now rated this watch to 2,000 meters and someone's bought it, um, yeah, through my affiliate links. So thank you very much. Then we've got a Felida. I showed this actually in a video just before the sale started. Um, I think this is a good alternative to the Kronos um, because I couldn't find the Kronos was being discounted anywhere for the sale. Um, and again, Felida make excellent watches. Um, the build quality and the value for money with Felidas is off the charts. I would have expected that one actually to have sold more than once. Um, now we've got another Kronos. Um, this Subby Homage is, for me anyway, the best I've ever experienced. And they're now selling a no-date version look. Um, excellent. So yeah, um, but again, um, you guys have only bought one of those. I would have expected that one to have been pretty popular. And here is the San Martin GMT. Um, yeah, that has been bought once by someone. Um, they obviously decided it was the better of the two. Then we've got an Age Loser. Now this is a brand that I've looked at quite a few times. The, the quality looks incredible, but the prices are yeah, pretty steep. And whoever bought this watch decided they liked it so much um, they weren't bothered about a discount look. Um, they've bought it out. Um, well, they bought it in the sale, but um, not discounted at all. Fair enough. Um, then we've got a new looking san martin from a san martin store um, again it doesn't look like it's been discounted in the sale well, i've not seen this version of this watch before ah oh, i'll have to look out for that maybe it's a new one and here's another new one by san martin this one is being sold at the official store uh interesting looking dial snowflake style hands square and rectangular applied or printed indexes look like they might be printed yeah, an interesting mix of um, design elements on that watch. Then we've got another Age Loser. Someone is loving their Age Losers. It's probably not been bought by the same person that bought the other one, to be fair. Um, but yeah, again, it's not in the sale. Look, um, $360. If you've got an Age Loser, let me know if the quality is any good. I am curious to see one. Um, we're finishing up with what looks like a couple of San Martins. Oh, again, this is only sold once in the sale. Um, I would have expected this one to have been a little bit more popular. The finishing is fantastic. Um, yeah, it's only available with a silver dial, though. I think that's putting a few people off. And the last watch is uh, Date Just Homage with what looks like a marble or mother of pearl dial, although it may not be that variation that has sold once through my links. But there you go, guys. Um, top 15 items that you guys have bought through my affiliate links. During this year's March anniversary AliExpress sale and also 10 other watches that, yeah, somebody has bought at some point um, during the sale. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll do another one of these at the end of the sale. And yeah, if you want to know about the questionable stuff that um, some of you guys are buying, you'll need to become a patron. Right. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. You'll see me again very soon.